Now, we know that is the work of God. God is the one that is, you know, doing everything. But there are some strategies that Pastor Jerry, as somebody that has worked in international media before he got called into full-time ministries, there's some strategies he's using to grow the NSPPD prayer network that you and I need to learn and implement in our business that if we're able to successfully implement it, it will bring about outstanding success. Now, if you're interested in learning what Pastor Jerry is doing to make NSPPD this huge success, you need to stay tuned. This is Nigerian Business Channel. We talk about all things doing business successfully in Nigeria. Whether you're starting a new business or you just want to grow your own business, you want to invest in Nigeria, this is the channel you should be glued to. So subscribe to this channel and like this video. Let's get into it. So Pastor Jerry uses a lot of testimonials. If, you, if, you, if you're part of the prayers, which I know that a lot of you are, you know that Pastor Jerry does not joke with testimonies. Like one hour is used to do prayer, one hour, another one hour is for testimonies. What does this testimonies do? It actually builds the faith of people that are participating, you know, helping them to stay glued so that they can also have their miracles. But it also helps to spread word of mouth because when people hear the testimony, they will just their friends. They will just this person, they will just that person, and the person will want to come and join. So testimonies actually, you know, makes the word of mouth marketing works very fast. So in your business, you can actually use testimonials from satisfied customers, testimonials from even your staff to skyrocket the word of mouth marketing and make more people want to do business with you. Whether it's a product you're selling or a services you're offering, you can use testimonials to increase your customer base, to create a buzz around your business, to make people talk about your business. You can use testimonials to do that. Another area that is so interesting, I get fascinated whenever I look at this, is the area of branding. NSPPD is well-branded from the slogan of what God cannot do does not exist. Now, it seems like nobody has said that before NSPPD started, right? Because every time, everywhere you hear that, what comes to your mind is NSPPD. Then they also have a team song. In fact, I was in, I worshipped in a church some Sundays ago. And the choir administration was the team song of NSPPD. And when the song was, you know, the choir was rendering the song, everybody was looking at each other, oh, NSPPD. And how are you marketing? How are you branding your business? You understand? Is your branding very clear? Is this something that people can relate with? Is this something that, oh, anybody can hear it and see it? And the next thing, your business comes to their mind. So these are strategies we need to, you know, study and copy from. Yes, we can copy them. So, but, you know, use it in your own way to boost your business, to make your business successful. I mean, doing the prayers, Pastor Jerry will always say, share, 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 share. And everybody is sharing, share and come back. Why? Because it, that sharing gets more people to join. Every time he says share, a lot of people get to join from the, the ones that, you know, from the shares that you get in groups and all that and individuals. So everybody is, is marketing it. Like even when every day he creates a new hashtag for what you should look forward to in the next day and he will tell you, oh, put it on your WhatsApp status on your Facebook story and all that. Why? Everybody has to spread the word. Everybody is spreading the word. Everybody on the platform actually joins to spread the word, to make more people know about it. Imagine if it's just one person that is marketing, the that is you know spreading the word. Of course, the effect cannot be maximum like this. But when everybody that is participating is spreading the word, hmm, you know that that is why it's going viral every day. Imagine a prayer program that goes viral on a daily basis. It's huge. And we need to, you know, use the strategies, copy them and use for our businesses.
can you use make your customers your your and your staff to also be the ones marketing your business for you how can you bring them in how can you use your customers to market your business how can you use your customers to spread word about your products and services how do you incorporate them into your marketing plan these are things that we need to think about if we have to grow our businesses we need to think about how we can use your our customers and these are strategies that pastor jerry is making us to realize works before the end of each prayer section every day pastor jerry will always you know i don't want to use the word hype but he always hypes the next day's program so you have something to look forward to he will tell you oh tomorrow we are praying for this we are praying for that you cannot miss it you have to join so and again the programs are not just like oh every day you are coming to pray no Every day, there's a program you're looking forward to. Is it that two days of this, three days of that? You, you know, then he makes families to join on Fridays. So you know that, oh, every member of our family has to join. On Fridays for families and all that. I remember when my mom used to tell me, oh, make sure you join every Friday. Friday is for families. You know that kind of stuff. So it makes it, that all these things contribute to the to to this program going viral so everything is set up for the program to go viral on a daily basis and it works so there's something to look up to so it's always building up expectations always creating a buzz around every day's uh, uh, program so he prepares for the day and you know there's always a buzz around it and you know what it what this means in marketing whenever you're bringing out the product and there's always a buzz around it is always going viral of course you know that you get a lot of attention a lot of people will want to be part of it and that is what happens here that is how we can copy these strategies to make our business our product our services go viral then the final thing we should talk about today is the fact that pastor jerry has a formidable team a dependable team it, it, like his wife which is the support system and also partner in prayer then the pastor the pastors he uses that are there there's nothing like because to be honest with you to come out every day and be praying every weekday for at least two hours and before they even start that prayer they will already be praying to prepare themselves before they even start so you know that he needs consistency. He needs you to have a dependable team. And he has built that dependable team that will not bring excuse over time. So everything is well planned. Is In business, having a good team is, is one very difficult thing, especially in this part of the country, in this part of the world. You know? You need to build a formidable team. It's not an easy thing to do. But when you finally do it, you will reap the results. And that's what Pastor Jerry is showing us with his team on NSPPD. So, as business owners, we should have dependable people on our team. People that will be there for us. People that will be consistent. That will put the interest of our business first. That knows that it's our own. We have it together. It's a teamwork. So it's very important for success. And it's not an easy thing to do in this part of the world. So we have to, to consciously build that team. Put everything in place to make sure we get that team building right.